Hello people! Today I'm going to show you how we can edit the WooCommerce shop page using Elementor. Yes, Elementor. And we're not going to buy a pro version. No, no, no. We're going to install a small plugin and this plugin is going to help us to customize the WooCommerce shop page. You see, when we click on the shop page and when we want to edit with Elementor, it says that sorry the content area was not found in your page okay so we go to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin we're going to type in elementor and the first one is going to pop up is elementor page builder but the second one here essential add-ons for elementor this one we will use to customize the shop page. When it's installed, we're going to activate it. And we're going to create a new page. We can call this page products. We're going to publish the page. And now it will be possible to edit with Elementor. Yes, now Elementor is working on our page, on our newly created product page. We scroll down and we have to find essential add-ons. Here we have WooCommerce. When we want to add it, it's not working because we need the pro version and we're not going to use the pro version. Here we have essential add-ons and now we have to find something like product grid. Product grid, when we add it to our page, we see four elements. We see the name, we see the price, we see add to cart and reviews. Everything here is customizable. So by default, we have four products. We have the add to cart button, prices, rating, name, and picture. We can change the amount of products that is shown. We can do this here, products count. We can do, for example, 12. And when we scroll down, we have three rows of four products. So now we have 12 products. The next thing we can change is the amount of columns. Four columns by default. This looks very good on a desktop. But when we're using tablet or smartphone, we have to change the amount of columns. And we can see this right here. Yeah, it goes by default to one column, but that doesn't look nice. On a tablet, I would use two columns. That looks very tidy, very nice. On a smartphone, on a mobile, I would use one. This looks nice. But here we're working on a desktop, so we're going to use four. The next thing we can change is product rating. We don't have any rating yet. And if we just started a website, nobody has rated our products. So we can remove those rating stars and we just have the add to cart price and name. We can use different styles to show our products. Default style doesn't look very nice. Simple style is the one I'm using. Reveal style, here we don't have the add to cart button. So people might think that it's not for sale. So this is not good. Overlay style. Personally, I the icons are too small. So I wouldn't use that neither. I'm going for simple style. We can also filter by products. So we can filter by recent products, featured products, best selling products, sale products, and top rated products. So for this, we can open a new set. We can create a new section and we can, we could say like, best-selling products 
best selling products. We create another section and we can add this product grid again. It's here. And now we can go for best selling products. It's the same because I haven't changed anything, but you understand what I mean. So that's it. This is how we can customize our WooCommerce page using Elementor.